Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Um, first disclaimer is you may hear noise, the TV. I It's rather loud right now, um, but my kiddo is being calm. <laughs> and it is, it's just one of those days that I'm just like, he's, he's being good, we're just gonna leave it be. So I, I apologize if you do hear anything in the background. It sounds like he's playing Mario. Um, but the second disclaimer is that I do already have my eyeshadow done and this is for uh, my Instagram stories and a reel that I did so you guys can go check that out over on my Instagram and that reel to kind of see the makeup look and all of that. Um, having a lot of fun with it. I have been having so much fun with eyeshadow lately. But I'm here to do something else for you guys and that is... A new skin tint. I'm so excited. This is the H2O skin tint by or by Pixie by Petra. <laughs> um, I got the shade cream so I mean I'm hoping we'll be okay um, but this is just a skin tint but you guys know that is like my thing now like tinted moisturizer. I mean, I always like have one laying around. So yeah, I'm just going to try it out and see what I think of it. I'm hoping that the shade is okay. I picked this up at Target and um, this was the lightest shade they had there. So I don't know if this is the lightest there is, if there's more that are lighter, but let's read about it. It is supposed to be very hydrating, refreshing, but dries to a semi-matte finish that stays on all day. It's water-based. It is a tinted face gel. It evens out skin tone and gives complexion a flawless no makeup look. Hydrates and provides all day wear. Contains antioxidant rich green tea, moisturizing rose water, soothing English chamomile, and relaxing lavender. Fragrance free and for all skin types. So cool. All right. Um, well, it is in this nice squeezy tube bottle. It does have a pump and a cap and cooling and hydrating sheer tinted water based gel apply as you would a moisturizer and pat into skin um 1.2 fluid ounces so i'm actually going to be going in with a brush because this is how i apply a lot of my tinted products now i feel like it just gives me the best coverage and to still be able to wear something that's literally light as air so I'm going to try it this way. If it doesn't work out, then we'll go into it with our hands. But I really hate applying products like this with my hands, like the moisturizer. So, ooh, that doesn't look too bad color-wise. So, yeah, I like to just kind of pat it around. Yeah, this one is pretty light coverage. Pretty, pretty light coverage, like... Usually tinted products um, and skin tints are very, very light coverage, but you'd actually be surprised at how much coverage I can actually get with skin tints nowadays, especially with the techniques that I've been doing. But I do feel like I'm going to actually try putting this just like directly on the skin and kind of see if that helps um, at all with coverage. And I'm kind of just doing this side so we can kind of see like side by side. Um... Okay, that seems to be a little bit better. Maybe just a lot of it really sunk down into the brush from the get-go. Um, Shape-wise is pretty dang good. Even products like this that will just kind of make your skin look like your skin but better. And just kind of, you know, like not cakey, very skin-like, but still covers up at least like redness and evens out your skin tone are like perfect for me because then if I have blemishes or dark you know under eyes a little bit of concealer you're good to go so the rest of my face like really feels like it's able to like breathe throughout the day so you guys can let me know what you think this is the side with it you can see it's very shiny very moisturizing dewy and this is without I feel like it's pretty nice though. Definitely probably the least amount of coverage I've seen in a product like this in a while, but it's not bad. I am going to go ahead. I think I liked applying it to my face and then just patting it out uh, versus those aren't even full pumps either. I'm just like barely putting like a dot and then moving to the next section. But I do feel like you can build this up, which is pretty nice and I kind of feel like you have to to be able to get it to be more than just a skin tint which is kind of like how you know I'm doing like a full glam look 
So I want to kind of take it there a little bit more with my skin tint. But if this was just like a natural everyday look, I wouldn't have to really add on, I feel like. I feel like it actually makes my skin look very healthy and like just dewy. I mean, I'm going to wear it all day. We'll see how it does. I still could probably pull off. I'm kind of filming later in the day, but I could still probably pull off an eight hour wear. So we'll just see where it gets us in about eight hours. Just see from there. Cause I am going to be doing a full wear test for you guys, but this is what it looks like. I have no concealer, no powder, anything like that. I am in front of studio lights, but it is just like one big light. Um, and that's about it. I also have a window over there, so it's kind of like a mixture of both lights. For reference, I have a combination to dry skin. Um, usually my face tends to be pretty dry on the outer parts, and then I kind of stay oily in the T-zone sometimes, which I kind of am right now. Um, I use the NYX Marshmallow Primer, which I'm still trying out, so this might have been like not a great idea to use both today, but I had already put it on when I was like, hey, I'm gonna film this video. So we're just rolling with it. It's a moisturizing primer, it leaves my skin a little tacky, so I think we'll be good to go um, and still be able to see. Now, I am still gonna do concealer, because like I said, I am doing a rather glam look, as you can tell. So I am going to go ahead and put concealer and powder on, and then show you guys what my skin is looking like. Because I do wanna see, that's always the hit or miss with a tinted moisturizer is seeing how it plays with your concealer and your powder because day-to-day -day wear whatever but when you're wanting to use it as your full-on foundation too you really want it to be able to work with all of your products so I actually might use some cream products today so I'm actually just gonna do my concealer real quick so we can see how this lays together and then I'll jump back on after I have my full face done so I can just kind of like let you know how applying products over it went because like I said it's a glam moment so I'm going to be doing blush, bronzer, highlighter, all of that. So far though this concealer is going over it really nicely. I feel like I was able to build up coverage right over my nose perfectly like I was wanting so that's nice. Also in this area smaller brush to really do the detailed concealer work. Don't mess up my eye makeup. Yeah, it looks really nice. All right, I'm gonna jump off so I can do the rest of my stories real quick. And then I'll jump back on here when the look is finished and tell you guys my thoughts and how everything is laying together. And it is a wear test, so you guys will see at the end of the day how it looks. All right, I have you guys zoomed up so you can see. This is what it looks like with all makeup on. I could honestly powder a little bit more, I would say, um, around here. All makeup details will be down below, but for powder, all I'm using is the Ciate London um, Watermelon Burst setting powder, so it's just a pressed. I'm gonna see how it does. Usually when I use this, I have to kind of powder throughout the day, but. We're just going to kind of let the skin tint kind of do its thing and see how it looks later on tonight. But yeah, this is the finished look. I love how it turned out. I think it's so pretty. Again, makeup will be down below and you can check out the reel on my Instagram to see the full look. And I will see you guys later tonight to see how this wears. All right, guys, it has been just about eight hours. It's almost 11 p.m., so... I've made it, this is probably the longest I've worn makeup in a very, very long time. And as you can see, it's very, very shiny. I haven't touched up or anything all day. My eyeshadow is still looking pretty good. But yeah, I've just kind of been chilling. Um, my I do see that my mascara transferred. Ugh, that is always the worst. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty shiny. I feel like if I'm going to personally wear this skin tint, I will definitely have to have um, a powder with me, which I usually have a powder in my purse to take with me on the go. But yeah, I would probably say 
extra powder with this one unless you're like really really dry and you still may want to lightly powder then but because I mean like I said I'm combo to dry so most of my skin is usually pretty dry but this is like shiny AF um it's really pretty though I can say that and I feel like Look, like even looking up close, like it looks really, really good. Now that you guys have kind of seen it, I was going to powder it. Can I see what I'm talking about? I'm going to go ahead and take some more of that setting powder and just like set it through here. I'm literally about to go take this off, but. Oh, my mascara transferred down there too. I was actually really liking this one. Trying out a new uh, mascara the bad gal bang I haven't tried it out in another video so I thought I'd mention it but it's kind of transferring by new I mean new to me mascara I know it's been out for a while but I've had little samples of it just sitting there so I'm like I really need to just try that okay so I literally just put this powder in my t-zone again I would wear this look for another eight hours it looks so good. But that's crazy. I haven't been paying attention. I have not looked in the mirror the past eight hours. I've been like on my laptop editing things and doing different things like that. So I can't say I haven't worn a mask because I've been home all day. Um, so yeah, definitely powder around that area if you're going to be um, wearing a mask and being out. If you're going to be out, you're going to be wearing a mask. So I would definitely powder uh, because of that. But... This is really nice. I feel like there's maybe like on the side of my nose a little bit of separation, but that might have been where I even maybe rub my nose. Um, like I said, I've kind of just been chilling. So yeah, I'm excited to keep trying it out, see what I think. I'm going to try to get better about makeup reviews on my blog that aren't just palettes. <laughs> I just usually always have a palette every single week to review, but I'm going to try to get better about reviewing other products as well, so I'll try to do that eventually with this product and let you guys know my full thoughts and how it goes. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. Like I said, after powdering a little bit again, I feel like I could rock this look for another eight hours. Like, it looks so good. I do really wish that more skin tints like this had, like, that SPF, but I would just make sure I didn't today because I've literally been indoors all day. But, um to wear like SPF underneath it. I've just gotten very um, spoiled with my tinted moisturizers and skin tints that have a little bit of SPF going on. So that's the only, I think, downfall with this. Besides that, the shade I had thought was oxidizing a little bit, but honestly, I don't think it really did. I feel like it actually looks very good with my skin. I feel like the shade was pretty spot on. So I'm excited about that and yeah feels good on the skin. I also don't notice a scent with this at all and it's supposed to be I believe like pretty gentle for sensitive skin so that's awesome too. But yeah let me know if you guys have tried this and what you think of it and check it out if you haven't because if you love skin tints and that type of ordeal I think you're really gonna love this product. Again I feel like the only downfall is not having SPF in it. Um, but again, I can just throw on my moisturizer that has SPF in it and I'm good to go. Um, but also, there's like literally not that much coverage. This is literally going to put this like sheer veil over your skin to make your skin look like your skin, but just a smidge a bit better, a little bit more glowy, dewy. You probably could build it up, but it's probably going to take a lot of product to do so. But yeah. Again, let me know if you guys have tried it, what you think, or if you're now eyeing it. Um, I feel like it's a really good product. I know it's going to be another skin tint that I probably leave close by to just reach for all the time. But thank you guys for watching. I am going to go wash my face and jump into bed. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video.